Yo, what's going on guys? Snoozeman back here with another YouTube video and today we're actually going to talk about how to create a player and add the player to a franchise here in MLB The Show 22. Now I have done this same and similar type of video back in Madden 22 franchise mode. You guys probably remember it. Uh, I did this about eight months ago so it was quite a while ago so i am bringing this back but here in mlb the show 22 now obviously you guys are always in rtts and trying to use your guys as rtts player in diamond dynasty now let's try to make a video here and how to get your player and create one and get that player into a franchise mode just trying to obviously level out and make the franchise mode more fun here so guys um we will go to the uh top icon where it says create up here now what you guys want to make sure of though is that you guys have next gen i believe this isn't a thing unless you have next gen uh ps5 or next gen xbox because if you go into create right here uh as you guys can see with the stadium creator that is not a thing if you're just on standard like ps4 um or just obviously standard xbox or whatever that is so that will not become a thing so i believe um unless i could be wrong here i don't believe the create icon comes up unless you do have uh next gen so again if you guys are wondering that there it is make sure you guys have that but we will go to roster control and this is where you will actually be able to create a player so right here just like um it, for starters in rtts we can create our player we can obviously name them um you know come up with their age uh their audio how they're announced their positions uh, birthplace all they can you can create yourself you can create a uh, a past player you can create a made-up player um on your own terms it can be legit anything guys you can legit come up with anything um it's completely up to you guys it's based on what you guys want to do right here i'm not going to really go in and create a player to show you guys you guys know from here and uh what to do with attributes um what you guys want to do with equipment motion and sounds general all that stuff again it's right here so again when you guys are done creating your player again as you guys can see starting pitcher joe random um you will see this in the franchise so again remember that um so when you guys are done as you guys can see in the bottom it does say finish whatever button that is for you it is options for me and ps5 i'm going to go ahead and hit that now it's going to say, are you sure you want to create this player and place them in the free agent pool? So what that means is when you guys open up a brand new franchise mode, you will go in and go to the free agents right when you begin the season. And there will be a free agency pool. Um, so you go in there and you can be able to sign him right there. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, hit free agent pool. And then your rosters have changed. Please go to file management, save and save your roster to keep your changes. So we'll go to save roster. Um, and then we'll just save custom roster. Um, we'll just name this roster to um, whatever, you know, you guys want to obviously name this. Just make sure, obviously, you remember that. Now, don't just click on the franchise mode. I've said this before. You have to click square. I'm not sure what button that is uh, for Xbox, but as you guys can see over in the left, it says more options. You're going to want to click that to cre create a uh, start a new franchise. And then we're going to go ahead and load save rosters. As you guys can see, roster two, that's the uh, the roster we just created our player. We're going to go ahead and go Cubs. Uh, we'll advance, and then we'll advance again. We'll just say spring trading just in case um, we miss anything. Let's go ahead and go to free agency. Now, I didn't really touch up on the uh, attributes, so I'm pretty sure this dude's going to be really, really bad. So let's go ahead and look if we can actually find... Uh, Joe Random. This might take a little bit. I don't know how bad he actually is. Um, I don't know if we can actually just look him up, but he'll be in here somewhere. Um, let me see if I can actually try and find him. He's got to be one of the worst ones. He has to be. Yep, there he is, guys. Um, he is a one overall. So as you guys can see, 18 years old. Um, one overall. I didn't show you guys exactly if you can actually touch up on the exact stats, but again, I'm sure you can regardless even if you can't right here i'll just show you guys a little cheat if you can't touch upon his stats while creating him you can just go ahead right here uh he's only going to have a year for eighty thousand, and then we're going to go ahead your roster is currently full so let me go back to my roster real quick uh, up here and then go to um what's actually up here in roster and let me just go ahead and just go down here and relief pitchers and uh release this player real quick and then let's go back to free agency 
and then we'll go back to starting pitchers go back to Joe random real quick make sure you guys are clearing out your roster so you can actually sign your player that you created I'll sign that contract window hit the field and then we actually have him on our roster um, okay now let's go to our pitchers so as you guys can see, Joe Random, now we can actually edit player, and then we should be able to, again, now it brings up the exact same stuff where we were ahead of time before uh, when creating him to get, get him in the franchise. So I believe we can go to attributes. I'm not sure if you can actually um, pitch types. Um, there it is, guys. So you can actually boost all this stuff up to, obviously, I believe a 99, right? Yep. So, again, you can literally increase pitching, batting, and fielding. You can increase this pitcher to be Shohei Otani if you want to. Um, so, again, you can increase the pitching, batting, and fielding. You can change all their pitch types. You have five pitch types right there. Um, again, you can do all the attributes. You can, again, if you didn't already create the equipment that you wanted or you want to go back, again, you can go back to him, edit the player. Again, right there, you can literally create like a Shohei Otani type player on your team for free for 80k a year. You can't beat that, guys. So we're going to go back, uh, go back, or you should want to save those changes. And then, again, he's down here, Joe Random. So again, we can't, we don't. We don't have to just play with him as a one overall. We can always change that and how it looks and his attributes. So, guys, that is how we can create a player and bring him into a franchise mode. And, obviously, we can play with him. We can move him up to MLB, uh, the actual roster, the Major League roster, if we wanted to. But, guys, again, if you guys need any other tips uh, on this video, again, leave that all the information down below. I would, I would be happy to get uh, to that and answer you guys' questions. And again, any future tip videos you guys want to see for the remainder of Madden 22 or throughout for MLB The Show 22, Franchise, Diamond Dynasty, RTTS, let me know down below. But guys, until the next tip video, I will see you guys in the next one.